how's it going everybody? Uh, back with another video here showing you the NV inject for my GeForce 7600 GS 256 megabyte graphics card. Um, I'm at the site here. You can just Google NV inject and you'll go directly to the site. So there's no reason for me to show the actual link here. Uh, now again, that will works for my card and works pretty pretty much flawlessly. I haven't had to restart because of any video issues when I choose this installer here. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again since this is a clean install of my 10.5.2 Caliway DVD AMD. I usually choose the installer. It's a lot easier just to run the installer rather than going to Kext Helper and installing the Kext yourself, removing anything. This is just a lot easier to download. Uh, as you see right here, the NV Inject Go 020512 megabyte installer. Now, as you can see on my display preferences, all I have is 1024 by 768. And uh, I've got a 19 inch widescreen LCD, of course, 1024 by 768 definitely will not cut it. Obviously, you don't want to go with graphics that are a lot lower standard than what you have, so show you here. Here's the install for the uh, 020512 even though it's a 256 megabyte card still recognizes fine. QE slash CI is actually supported on this version here. So that's my password and Installation succeeded. Of course, you have to restart for this to take place and actually update. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll restart and I'll show you the display preferences. You'll see that as soon as I restart. Okay, I'm rebooting here as you can see. Now on the scrolling text, you see the NV Inject Go. See 020. GeForce. I've got the two displays, display B and display A. One is the DVI and one is the regular VGA. So this looks like it injected it pretty good and it should start up. And it should be ready to go at 1440 by 900. Shouldn't give me any problems. Usually, if it does give you any issues on the reboot, on a restart if you install an incorrect NV inject it will show you either a black screen or it will show you a blue screen and it won't move from there you see here's a blue screen now it should go right in and there we go so it looks like that inject worked pretty well and again I installed the NV inject go 0.2.0 512 MB. Even though I'm running a 256 card, I read somewhere that you should install one above yours. So if you have a 256, install the 512 rather than the default. Don't think there's really much of a difference, but uh, I'm going to go ahead here and go to my displays and change this. To the 1440 by 900. Once I do that, we should be perfect. And there we go. Looks a lot better that way. So I'm going to go ahead and go into System Profiler. And I'll show you settings that I get with this card. Okay. So here's the hardware that I have. Mac Pro 2.4 gigahertz, two cores. Bus speed is showing 200 megahertz. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, if it's even holding anything back at all to begin with. You see my ATA here, there's my NEC DVD RW. 
Audio still shows, no built-in audio. So let's go down here to the graphics display is what we're really trying to get to. And there you see graphics by NVIDIA, PCI Express, 512 megabyte, even though it's really a 256. Here's the ROM version as the uh, 020 NV Inject. Here's the settings here. Of course, the most important thing for a lot of people is uh, this guy here. Quartz Extreme is supported. And I've noticed with uh, this NV Inject, I also get the uh, rotation supported as well. So you can rotate 90 degrees, 120 degrees. Nice feature, definitely, if you're doing photography. You can see it's hardware accelerated, 32 bit color. Shows the model number of my LG 21 inch widescreen, or actually 19 inch widescreen, sorry. So that's pretty much it. Um, every once in a while, if I'm running a certain video, or actually if I just click on anything random, my screen will flash, but it usually comes back on within a couple seconds. Haven't had that many problems with this inject though, but that's pretty much it. That is the install for the NV Inject 020 512 megabyte on my NVIDIA GeForce 7600 GS graphics card.